influenza, as a virologist, um, I can say influenza is a very difficult virus uh, to diagnose. The symptoms are also uh, very variable. So as a patient, you might very well have uh, typical symptoms that we all think are to do with influenza, such as a cough, uh, a fever, um, maybe aches and pains. But of course, from the doctor's point of view, those very symptoms can be caused by a whole range of infection. So what starts out uh, to be a fairly simple disease, apparently, this, this, this so-called influenza, in, in fact, turns into something a bit more difficult. There's also something else to think about um, as a patient, uh, especially when the doctor appears on the scene. That is, are you a young patient? Are you under the age of five? Are you a child? Or uh, are we talking about a teenager? Or are we talking about an elderly person, say over the age of 65 or 70? And strangely enough, influenza, even in those different age groups, appears quite different. I mean, for example, in a person over the age of 70, often the, the person does not have a high temperature, sometimes even a lower temperature. And so it's not all, the not all the classical symptoms are showed. And in children, on the other extreme, obviously children are getting temperatures all the time, as every mother knows. And they may not have other symptoms. They may not have the sore throat or cough. So again, in a child, the symptoms can be quite tricky uh, to sort out. It's, it, but it's mainly in the young people, teenagers for example, and young um, adults, that the symptoms of the cough, the uh, sore throat, the headache, um, become most prominent and can be self-diagnosed. Uh, From the doctor's point of view, um, the diagnosis of influenza can be quite straightforward. Uh, these days, there are tests, pretty fast tests, almost like going in and being tested for diabetes as a little bit of paper. You can have a similar test for influenza, a molecular test. So the doctor would take a throat swab, a little swab in your throat or in the nose, and uh, from that broken off throat swab, um, probe into it using this test, and within 30 minutes, um, there will be a good indication of whether in fact you are suffering from uh, influenza A virus as your symptoms that we explained just a few minutes ago, as your symptoms did point towards. So, um, but it, we need those tests because other viruses and indeed some bacteria kind of cause the same symptoms that we've already described. Um, and so, you know, it's not an easy diagnosis unless uh, the, you and the doctor realise that it's the winter period, there is influenza around um, and you've got all the symptoms and then the diagnosis from the doctor's point of view uh, can be quite uh, clear and is quite clear. From the point of view of management, which is very important of course from, from the doctor's viewpoint, either in general practice or in the hospital, influenza is easier to manage than some other virus infections. That, that's the kind of good news, really. The, usually the, the um, method a doctor would use is, would try to make the patient more comfortable. Um, and usually one of the problems is a headache with influenza, a headache, uh, a high temperature, and a sore throat. So the first thing the doctor wants to do is kind of deal with those symptoms. The headache uh, can be dealt with, and the temperature can be dealt with simply by analgesics like a tablet of paracetamol, for example, or even an aspirin tablet. So, um, and and the, the sore throat can be soothed with honey mixture or lozenge. And th that's quite important to make the patient feel more comfortable. Then the doctor can apply more science, more kind of modern science, in, if you like, uh, because there are some drugs that are almost like the penicillin of the virological world and they're called neuraminidase inhibitors, and two of them are called Tamiflu and Relenza. And they are quite effective and safe drugs um, to prevent the infection developing, because with influenza, the doctor will be worried 
at the back of his or her mind that what started out as quite a simple infection in the upper airways here could possibly move down into the lungs. Fortunately, for most patients with influenza, the outlook is very good. Uh, the infection is usually short. I mean, you're going to be ill for, say, four days um, with those unpleasant symptoms, but then you're going to get better. That's the outlook for most patients. But of course, if you're a little older, say the age of 70, or under the age of three, or someone with asthma, for example, then you can get secondary secondary uh, complications. So there the outlook can be um, a bit more uncertain. In general terms as well, um, from the outlook, you have to think, and maybe we're not doing this enough, you have to think about your rest of your family, your work colleagues, and the people you come in contact with. Because of course, during the symptoms when you're sneezing and coughing, you are spreading virus to other people. So it is extremely important um, during the infection, while you're thinking about what's going to happen, think of other people. And so try and prevent your family and friends from getting infected with your virus. And you can do this yourself. Um, you can do this by coughing. When you cough, you, you don't <coughs> cough into your hands and then shake hands with people because you'll then spread the virus. What you do is you cough <coughs> into your elbow and that stops the spread onwards. Um, of the infection. You also wash your hands much more with hot water, soap, and maybe even um, antibacterial soap, formulated soaps, to kill virus, and so your hands become more, more sterile, um, as it were. And sensibly as well, when you're thinking about the outlook, you do a bit of self-quarantine. In other words, you keep away from people. You don't go and visit your elderly aunt you don't go into work when you're still coughing with the symptoms of influenza because all you're going to do is spread the virus as well as make yourself perhaps a little more ill by going back to work or going visiting people um, earlier than you should.